series of tiles like this, a tile here, a tile here, all the way across, uh -huh, it stitches uh -huh. together so display. It stitches, but seamless, I mean. Se seamless. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why I do that is so there's no single points of failure for the screen. So when we take a ballistic impact to the screen, only one or two tiles get destroyed, oh, but it doesn't okay. propagate to the rest of the screen. Okay. We'll emulate that Oops. right here. So as you can see, this, this screen took three ballistic impacts, but 95% of the screen this, is this still is intact. Like uh -huh. All right, so the damage here and damage down, down there. Okay. And the system was smart enough to realize they had a problem, so it pulled information automatically out of that damaged area, and it won't let me put information back in there, because we don't want to accidentally hide something behind a damaged tile and not sure. be able to access yes. it. Yeah. And when this aircraft lands, the maintainer will just go remove that damaged tile, go get a new one, plug it in, the screen will be fully you intact. You can again. take it out from the rear. Yes, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. yes sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and what, what you see as a backdrop to the screen is just daylight television. That's that's provided by the DAS technology, which is on F-35. Yes, the look-through so, technology. So we yes. have two two optical cameras in the front. We're just choosing to show that as a backdrop to our, prim <coughs> to our primary flight display to uh, increase our situation.